Hi guys, Ruben Fro here. I've been asked many times how I do my work projections and so in this video I'm going to explain and show you how I did um, one of my images using the Mercator projection. And okay, this is the image we are going to recreate. As you can see, it's it looks like a stereographic projection, the usual tiny planet image, but it's different. It's a Mercator projection. So what are the differences between uh, and what can we do with Mercator projections compared to stereographic tiny planet projections? So with this kind of projection, we can get two different effects. One is the tiny planet effect, and the other one is the rabbit hole effect that is basically uh, a reversed tiny planet. In the tiny planet, you have the bottom part of the equirectangular image going in the center of the picture and the top part all around you, and it's the reverse in the rabbit hole effect. In the Mercator projection, we have two different kind of effects. One is the folded planet, where basically the world is like folding, and you have the land in the middle and the sky top and bottom, or we can split the world in two and have the sky in the center and uh, what's in front and what's behind you in the top and bottom part of the picture. So okay, let's start. Here you can see on the left the image we are going to recreate and on the right how this image will look like if we were going to use the typical tiny planet image. As you can see they are quite different. Now let's open Hugin and drag and drop the image on the photos uh, area, the rectangular image. Then click on GL and then you have to select in uh, the projection tab the Mercator projection, the one that we're going to use for this tutorial. Then we go to the move drag to adjust the image and this is where everything happens basically. You have to click and move the mouse and the image will shift and rotate. You can also use the control key and then click the mouse and move to adjust the rotation, another kind of rotation of the image. Then if you want to enlarge you know, a little bit wider, you can use the uh, sliders in the bottom part, in the right and bottom part of the UI. Keep in mind, however, that the top and bottom part of the image will be a very low quality so you want to crop them out anyway when you are satisfied with the alignment and everything go to stitcher then calculate optimal size and then press stitch to uh, start the stitching process okay here is a stitched image we are going to drag it on a Photoshop and you can see you need to uh, rotate it 90 degrees clockwise and here it is it's basically the same image I showed you before now one interesting thing about Mercator projection is that you can adjust uh, the position of the center and uh, the top bottom of the image after you stitch it because basically the top part and bottom part of the image in a Mercator projection, they are seamlessly repeating. So, you see, they are basically the same image. So you can just create an infinite image. And then you can choose if you want to do like a split planet, planet or a folded planet. So now we are going to, we are going to resize it, to crop it at four fifth like the all Instagram images and uh, we are going to decide if we're going to have like the sky on top or uh, maybe the center I mean you are free to adjust it after stitching so now it's the time for you to take your image and do your uh, color grading uh, removing noise uh, and adjusting uh, as you like like uh, any other images not just 360s so Mercator projections are extremely fun to work with and they are something new, something you don't see often. But I'm using it for many of my images. So for example, this one is like a split planet, planet using a Mercator projection, of course. And also this one is another Mercator projection. And um, yeah, let's see. 
uh, this one is also another Mercator projection. You can see the top bottom part, and uh, also this one is like a portrait in uh, Mercator, a street portrait on with Mercator projection and uh, a night shot in another Mercator projection. So anyway, but it's not only photo you can do actually. Uh, I told you before that an interesting thing about uh, Mercator projection is that the top and bottom part of the resulting stitched image, they match seamlessly. So you can do also infinite scrolling stuff video like this one. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, to the next projection.